On June 6, 1944, General Eisenhower decided to do an attack on the Germany-occupied France to, to, for a starting place for the invasion of Europe. The Normandy beaches were chosen by planners because they lit... They laid within range of air cover and were less heavily defended than the obvi obvious objective of the par Pas de Calais, the shortest distance between Great Britain and the continent. Airborne drops at both ends of the beachheads were to protect the flanks as well as to open up roadways to the interior. Six divisions were to lay on the first day land on the first day. Three U.S., two British, and one Canadian. Two more British and one U.S. division were to follow up after the assault division had cleared the way through the beach defenses. Disorganized, confused, and completely or faulty implementation of the plans characterized the initial phases of the landing. This is especially true of the airborne landings, which were badly scattered, as well as the first wave units landing on the assault beachheads plans that the planners had for D-Day. Utah was originally here and it was to take Chiribau, the airborne was there to be on the flanks and just confuse the Germans the night before. Omaha was originally there to take to come in and to go inward and to take the junction at St. Low. Gold. It's gold. The junction at Bayonex. There. Juno was there to come in. It was the Canadians and they came in and took the air base. And Sword's goal was to take cannon, but it was too much for them alone. So the airborne, that was the English airborne and Canadian airborne came in. They took it at the end of that month.